This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at determining the spontaneity of a reaction. In the previous video, we calculated the cell potential for this reaction. The zinc is oxidized to form zinc 2 plus ions, and the copper 2 plus ions are reduced to form copper metal. We used the standard reduction potentials as they are in the data booklet. Using this equation, we calculated the cell potential to be positive 1.10 volts. The positive sign for the cell potential means that the reaction is spontaneous as written. Let's look at another example. In this reaction, nickel is oxidized to form nickel 2 plus ions and manganese 2 plus ions are reduced to form manganese metal. Here we have the values for the standard reduction potentials as seen in the data booklet. When we use this equation, we get a cell potential of negative 0.93 volts. The negative value for the cell potential means that this reaction is non-spontaneous as written and the reverse reaction is spontaneous. So to summarize, a positive cell potential value means that the reaction is spontaneous as written. So for this reaction, we got a positive value for the cell potential Therefore, it's spontaneous as written. A negative cell potential value means the reaction is non-spontaneous as written and the reverse reaction is spontaneous. So for this reaction, we got a negative cell potential. If we calculated the cell potential for this reaction, which is the reverse of this one, we'd get a positive cell potential, meaning that the reverse reaction is spontaneous.